Hey, I like setting goals. Every January, I sit down and I think to myself, what are the top things that I want to achieve this year? But oftentimes, I end up not hitting those goals. And my guess is that whoever is watching this video is the same. In that case, this is for you. So earlier this year, I came across something called the 12 week year. Basically, it's a book by Brian P. Morgan and Michael Lennington that describes a productivity system where you break down your year into four chunks of 12 weeks with a one week break in between. And the idea is that you want to hit your one year goal in this 12 week chunk. And by doing so, you actually get kind of four years within the time of one year. Because if you think about it, the reason why we're not hitting our new year's resolution is because there is such a long time between January and December. So if you just put the deadline closer, you have enough time to achieve those goals, but you also feel the urgency of the deadline. And that makes you actually take consistent action to reach the goal before the end of the 12 week period. And the system itself is kind of simple. You think about what, where you want to be in the next three to five years, like what is the goal for your life? And you think about what are the goals that you can set within the next 12 weeks to actually hit that goal or vision that you have for your future. That vision can take some time to figure out. So I suggest that you sit down and like think about what you want your life to look at. And once you do that, you can think about what your week to week is going to look like such that in 12 weeks you will hit this goal. So I can give you an example of what my goals were and how and how they went. So my first goal was very ambitious. I wanted to finish the current research project that I am um, doing now and I did not. <laughs> I knew when I set this goal that it was very unrealistic but I still wanted to see if I could hit it. So I tried to set up what I would do each week that would help me, like I would work on it every day, I would try to have a meeting every week with my collaborators. That didn't work so well because my collaborators couldn't meet every week and I just ended up being stuck on this one problem for a bit too long, which is okay, that's research. Sometimes you think that this project is gonna be easy, I'm gonna be done in six months and then it takes you one and a half years instead. I will say that knowing that the 12 week was going to end and that I had set this goal like made me like really work harder and want to solve this but I also knew that it was unrealistic to finish this within 12 weeks. I am very happy because my second goal was that I wanted to get 100 subscribers on YouTube and if I look at my analytics at the moment I have 109 subscribers so good for me. I did it. With this goal I really tried to publish once a week, which I did most weeks, but the last few weeks have been very busy, so I, I just didn't have time for it. I'm still happy that I managed to hit my goal, so thank you to anyone who subscribed. I don't know why. <laughs> my third and final goal was that I wanted to get into the best shape of my life. I, I am not in the best physical shape of my life. reason why I set this goal is because also, at the beginning of this year, I did this circle of life exercise that I think I saw in one of Ali Abdal's videos, where you look at different areas of your life, say work, relationships, uh, health, and you give yourself a score out of 10, like how satisfied you are with yourself in these different areas of your life. And I realized that I was pretty satisfied with the work and relationship part of my life, but the health part was the one that I was the least satisfied with. So, so this year, I really want to take action to get into good physical shape and take care of myself. I think I did well in the beginning of this, like I went to the gym, I was eating very healthily. The last few weeks I've been kind of stressed. With this goal, the biggest game changer that I noticed was that I would feel a lot better on the days when I made my own food and I brought it into work because then I could really control that what I was eating was like really good for me. And I think these kind of health goals are difficult to hit because what gives you result is just consistency over a very long period of time because i mean if you go to the gym one time you're not gonna notice any change if you go to the second time you still you like you don't see any change but going to the gym consistently for several weeks is going to give you results so another thing that you should do with the 12 week years that you should check in with yourself at the end of each week reflect on like did you actually make consistent progress towards your goals um, and what can you do better next week 
like did something go well did something not go well i tried doing this most weeks but i also don't know if it helped me that much it is kind of fun to give yourself a score on how well you did so if i were to give myself a score on my goals after these 12 weeks i would be kind of harsh on myself with most of them i would give myself maybe five out of ten because I didn't hit the goal, I made progress, but I didn't hit the goal. For the second one, I would give myself a 10 out of 10 because I did hit the goal. Last one, I don't know, maybe we yeah, are 6 out of 10 because I have been going to the gym very consistently. I think that I still made quite good progress towards setting this goal. So if I were to give a review of the 12 week year, I would say that it's probably like the best productivity system that I have ever come across because even if I didn't hit all of my goals it still made me think a lot about how to structure my time and what I actually need to do in order to reach these goals that I set for myself because if you think about it it's very easy to set a goal but it's very difficult to wake up every single day 365 days of the year and actually take consistent action towards those goals you're going to need a system in order to do that and this is probably the best one that is out there. <laughs> Even if I didn't hit my goals, I still made a lot more progress than I would have made if I just set some goals in January and then didn't think about them until December. So I was thinking that maybe we could set some new 12 week year goal together and you can do it along with me. But I think I would set similar goals. So the first one will be, I want to finish the current research project that I'm doing. Once again, this is probably unrealistic because this is a pretty involved project, so it's going to take me time. But I find it difficult to break this goal down into like, I just want to make progress on the project because that could mean anything. So I think this is the most concrete goal that I can set for this project. So second goal is maybe that I want to hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. This goal is just that I want to try and make videos consistently, but it's easier to put a number to it that I can actually measure and which will motivate me when I don't feel like putting on my camera. Third goal, I would again put uh, best physical shape of my life. Let's, let's hope that I can hit this. And I will make another video in 12 weeks to share with you how this went. I will see you in another video or in 12 weeks if this is all you care about, but I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Bye.